asked to do a benefit out here for the Los Angeles Committee on Assaults Against Women. And uh, when they called me and asked me about it, they said, hi, is Laura there? Yeah, this is Betty from the Los Angeles Commission on Assaults Against Women. And for a second I thought, oh man, did I get drunk last night and... I found out about sex at an early age. I accidentally caught my parents doing it. Well, I didn't see everything. I couldn't because they made me drive. I've learned a lot since then, but in the meantime, here's TV Pizza. Tonight on TV Pizza. Tuning into the show that gives you the best bargain in television viewing. When you've eaten your fill, you can just throw it away. That's the great thing about TV Pizza. It's completely disposable. You won't even know you've watched it. Fast, easy, convenient. Bon appetit. Hi, if you have the rare gift of excellence and stain removal, would you want to do anything else? I'd trade 100 psychics for one person who could remove the urine stains in my love seat. Speaking of which, let's watch this next clip. Stress. I'm with massaging my brain. I think it's already too comfortable. Let's watch this next clip. Whoa, pretty sobering stuff, huh? Well, I think the answer is crystal clear. Reenactment actors should not be allowed to roam the streets with our wives and children. They've got to be put behind bars. We can't let this happen. So please, if you care, write to Buckingham Palace, care of the Queen, England. Let's get these people off the streets. Do it now, before it's too late. Thank you. She now... Oh, who could that be? <laughs> it's a miracle. It's Sister Paula, the transgender televangelist, all the way from Portland, Oregon. Sister Paula, come on in. Wow. Just happened to be in the neighborhood and dropped by. Oh, great. You know what? I mean, I was thinking, like, it's probably hard enough to get a spiritual message across mm -hmm. in this day and age. And on top of that, you're cross-dressed. Well, the very first place I went to when I went out as Paula was, oh, it was thank a pleasure, you. it was Thanks fun. A lot. And thank you for... You know, I've been in this profession for many years now, but it still always shocks me when I see a joke beaten to death like that. Here's a message from our commercial sponsors. Go. Heck, if you haven't been watching, why start now? Especially with the shit we're about to show you. Just... Don't watch it. Do me a favor, just don't watch it. And then we can all look at ourselves in the morning. Here it is. I told you no. Yeah. Wow. I think maybe I judged them a bit too harshly. And now, hopefully they'll forgive me. I, I, I just want to tell them, uh, I'm such a pig, I don't even know their names, but I, I just want to say I'm sorry. And if you're willing to still be friends, I'd, I'd like that a lot, because I don't want to be one of these L.A. cold people who just shut everyone out. <sighs> wow, I think maybe I should just um, forget the rest of today, if that's okay, if we could get that uh, pizza fool in here, maybe, because he could finish up for me. I, I'm sorry, I just, <sighs> wow, I wasn't expecting that today, that's all. And um, I'd like to publicly apologize to those two guys women, those, whatever they are. I'm sorry. Let's watch this next thing. Hmm. That's the only thing that's made sense all day. Can you imagine that if you had a friend who has that special gift and they never tell you about it and then you just find out by watching cable? And then you always think, what else do they know how to do that they don't tell me about? It's pretty interesting. Oh, wow, there's the belt. Uh, who could it be? Oh, my God, it's American television icon, Tammy. That was very interesting, wasn't it? You know, I recently went to my doctor and he said that I'm not listening to my body. And I guess he was right because my body wrote me a couple of letters. Um, geez. This is from my anus. Uh, we're sick of working overtime without pay. You are too nervous to be in this business. You forced me to quit. Wow. That's embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, I was waiting for this. this actually, this is from my uh, vagina. Whatever happened to Jim? I want Jim. What's the point of being here without Jim? Wait a minute, this isn't even my vagina's writing. Oh, 
God damn it. All right, let's watch this next thing. Funnier than the actual movie striptease, which you don't have yet. You'll probably have. Do you have movies there? We have this thing in the States called motion pictures. Yeah, forget it. Uh, let's watch this next thing. When the mic is... Okay, we get it. You're bad. Oh, thank God the police are here, I hope. Okay, honey, last show of the season. Finally time for me to get in here and do what I can do. Out of the chair, bitch. Let me show you how it's done. All right, sweetheart, I'll give you enough rope to hang yourself. Hang myself? My God, how could I do worse? <laughs> About giving people a second chance. Really? And I think you're damn cute, and anytime you want to come by, feel free. Really? Yeah. Come on, let's sing a song. It's almost over. In fact... Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I love you. Do you really? Yeah. You're not just saying that because I'm sitting here, are you? Because the producers are kind of on the wing in prayer that, you know, you're. On their side? Yeah. I'm not, but don't say anything. So oh, okay. I'm Well, I'm gay and I'm not interested. How about that? You're hurting me. Okay. okay. I'm kidding. Okay. Oh, God, what we have to do to get some people to watch? It's sad. Kind of. Thanks. Bye. All right, get them off. Let's see what the fuss is about. Well, these, yeah. I, mean, I can't. These are really tight. But I'll start with the jacket, and we'll get into it from there. I've heard that before. <laughs> you never know where you can go. But, uh... Oh, don't make them strip, for God's sakes. Goodbye, everybody. George Washington, Thomas...